still have some crackles in the lungs, it must be from all that fluid retention. Heartbeat's pretty late, it's a murmur present. All right, just based on my assessment right now, listening to lung sounds, he's having a lot of fluid retention, heart murmur's still present um, due to that um, heart failure exacerbation. Um, just based on labs and everything I'm seeing here, you know, uh, organs are starting to shut down, kidneys aren't functioning properly, not much output, unfortunately. So it's going to take a miracle at this point, but he is declining pretty quickly. So at this point, I recommend just comfort care measures and let's get the family in as soon as possible so a um, patient can have time with family and whatnot before before the end there. It's going to take a miracle. You know, go ahead and call them in. You're in good hands here. Grandpa! Come on in, kids. Grandpa! <laughs> Grandpa always told us to stay strong. We gotta bury me, Grandpa. Play all ice. Play all ice. This is for the love of God. Yeah, so his vitals look great over here. Yep, my color's coming back. Perfect. Listen to your lungs here. So, this is really strange. No more murmur. Lungs are sounding clear. So pneumonia seems like it's clearing up. Lung sounds are sounding a lot more clear. So let's get a chest x-ray just to see what the progress is. If it's clearing up, um, let's go ahead and get an echo because he's here for heart failure exacerbation, but murmur is clear. Um, and then we'll do routine labs just to see if, if, you know, organs and kidneys are bouncing back to the right spot. But yeah, other than that, this is a miracle. Let's notify family right away. And then um, grandkids have been here, I'm aware, so let's call them back in. Remember, Grandpa told us to stay calm and, and keep praying every single day, okay? Mr. Ordain, Mr. Ordain. Hey there. Uh, try to relax. Hey, I'm the doctor here. Oh, yeah. To lay back, yeah. You've been in a coma for about two days. Yeah, you got here for heart failure exacerbation. You, yeah, so you've been in a coma for a couple of days. You had some pneumonia. Your heart's just, the failure started progressing. So we were here observing you. And honestly, you're bouncing back. It's been awesome. amazing. Yeah, we brought family because we moved you on comfort care measures. But something just happened and your body's reacting and bouncing back. Hey, I don't know you, right? All I remember is I was at home. Yeah, well, you've been here for the last two to three days, and your family's been here the whole time praying for you alongside. My family? Who, yeah. Who's it? Uh, your grandchildren are here. We'll bring them in. We'll bring them in. Oh, well, guess it. Bring them in. Zip. Yeah. Oh, well, how did I get... You're awake. You're awake? Wow. You're awake? Wow. I, uh, you're not going to eat any more jello, are you? Grandpa, I don't know, but it looks like you did get a baby or something. They did this to me. No, you did this to yourself. You ate too much cell out. Look like yourself. Like yourself. Get what that hair go down to your pee. Well, you, you, you want a whooping boy? Yeah. Shut your mouth. Well, I what? Did. No, honestly. Y'all been here the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Praying for me. Yeah. Wait, no. Mm -hmm. Remember I told y'all about praying? Huh? You see how in fit and in shape I look right now? <laughs> That's prayer. That's prayer. We wish you, Grandpa. We have a scripture for you. And thank you for telling us that scripture, Grandpa. That was a good script. It goes like this. Pray always. Rejoice always. For Christ Jesus. I'm proud of you. Look at me. What we all look at? God could have allowed me to die right here at this hospital. But he spent my life. I got two wonderful grandkids. Y'all were praying for me. You believe God this whole time. And that's time for me to go home because I don't like no hospital. He's talking about heart exasperation. I'm not exasperated. I'm not exasperated. 
Am I? Do I look exaggerated to you? Yeah. Can you shut your mouth on? <laughs> you. Come on, give me a look. Give me a look, y'all. <laughs>